<laughs> so I'm Catherine Beautiful Joy Fields. So I have known Beautiful Joy for 23 years because I'm Beautiful Joy. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, I am the youngest of six, but before I talk about that, just how I got my name was my parents prayed about it and it took them a while. It took them over a year actually, but my name means pure delight. And I think that me having the name Beautiful Joy I don't normally get this close to a student, but I have with Beautiful Joy. She is a very beautiful person on the inside and outside. She's a very strong Christian woman, and I admire that in her. Uh, beautiful Joy is a friend of mine. Um, I serve as the Director of Education of the Beta Epsilon Chapter of Phi Beta Sigma, and she uh, was Miss Blue and White, so we work uh, really, really close together uh, over the past couple of years. I joined the ambassador organization and then she became the chair. And I didn't really know her, but I kind of knew her and she kind of knew me. But she chose me as a co-chair and ever since then, um, she's literally became my best friend. Well, Beautiful Joy is very kind and caring. She's a wonderful person. Uh, I think the uh, biggest descriptive factor in Beautiful Joy is she's uh, very outgoing. Uh, she doesn't meet a stranger. She'll talk to and engage with anyone, anywhere, anytime, definitely. So uh, those are just a few of the things that I would use to describe Beautiful Joy. Um, there's actually a couple of reasons why I like Beautiful Joy. Um, I first met her when I, I'm a freshman, so I first met her when I came here for Lion Camp. And I just, I heard her speak for the first time. And like, I've never really been moved by anyone speaking. Like my dad talks a lot and I, I don't, I'm not really moved by him, but with Beautiful Joy, I was really moved by the way she spoke, and I just I just really found that intriguing about her. Um, I love how she smiles, like when she when she looks at you, like no matter like who you are, she smiles, she makes you feel welcome, and I just love her spirit. I've known Beautiful Joy the entire time she's been at Langston. I've been her friend, her mentor, her financial aid counselor, her confidant anything she needed at the time. And I'm gonna miss her terribly when she goes off to her next phase of life. But it's a good feeling to me to be a part of her um, time here at Langston to get her to the next phase of life. I have no doubt that Beautiful Joy will be successful in whatever realm she is in, whether it's working, whether it's going for a master's, whether it's other aspects of life. And she will make one day a wonderful wife and mother if she chooses to be married. One of the things that Beautiful Joy brings to mind is, you know, she comes by occasionally just to visit, just to catch me up on things going on in her life, um, the new word of advice, and she reminds me of something that I have told her, you know, in previous years that I have totally forgotten of. And at the same time, I will share with her, you know, if I have prayer needs, or things going on in my life, because I know she's always there for me. Uh, she's always going to be praying for whatever concerns I have, as I am likewise with her. I wish her well. There's not another student on this campus like Beautiful Joy. She has earned a lot of honors, but she has, she has deserved those. She has worked hard to get to the point where she is at Langston. And I'm proud to see her, to know that she's graduating and to be a part of her years here. She's a very, very great speaker. Um, I really don't know how she does it, where she gets it from, um, but that's one thing that I really uh, enjoy about her is the way in which she's able to articulate herself. Um, she's also very, very genuine. Um, she doesn't really do anything that she doesn't believe in. If she says it, she means it. Um, if she doesn't agree with it, she'll let you know, uh, but she's always respectful and she knows how to respect someone else's ideas and or um, opinions and still gets, get, get, get uh, hers across. So that's one thing that I uh, definitely enjoy about her. I feel like I, I may have told her this, uh, but I just want to say it again is I appreciate her. I appreciate her presence. Um, every time she steps in a room, you know she's there. She doesn't have to say a word, but when she does, it, 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 it's always it's always a kind one, um, and she really knows how to grab the attention of the, uh, the uh, room. Uh, she has a very, very calm spirit. 
Uh, but she's very, very outspoken as well. Um, and like I said, she has, she does a great job of expressing herself and you know that she's genuine. So, I mean, like I said, her, her, her presence is, 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 is really calming. One thing that I, I would, I would, I would like to share or I would like to say, um, is that you inspire a lot of young women. Um, and I appreciate you for that. Um, one reason why I said I aspire to be more like you is because, um, I want to be able to move people with my voice the way that you do. Um, my main purpose, I feel in life, is to uh, to develop and inspire the next generation. I feel like that you you do it so seamlessly, like you do it uh, without even trying. Just keep being great. Uh, your energy is definitely transferable, um, and no matter where you go, no matter what you do, and no matter what life has in store for you, as long as you bring the best, beautiful joy to every situation you're always going to uh, flourish. I have no doubts um, that she's going to be great in whatever she decides to do. Uh, she's just a wonderful person and um, I, I really wish more people were like her. Actually, I aspire to be a little bit more like her myself. So, One thing that I love about Beautiful Joy is that when she says she loves you, she actually loves you. I remember um, an important memory was on my 21st birthday. Uh, out of all the people that were important that told me happy birthday, she literally sent me a whole list of 21 reasons why I was an amazing person. And I went to Walgreens and I actually printed those out. And it wasn't just like, oh, you're great, you're blah, blah, blah. But she actually like wrote full sentences in 21 of them. So Main words that would describe her is beautiful joy. That's literally who she is. Um, she's beautiful, like other people have said, inside and out. What she does, how she makes other people feel, how she looks. Um, and also she's joy because whenever I, whenever you see her, she brings like a, a vibe of joy. Um, and she reminds me all the time that God is good regardless of what I'm going through, regardless of how people treat me, is to always be good to them and that God is good. And she's just a reflection of beautiful joy. So on the whole, I really appreciate beautiful joy for who she is. Um, one encouraging word that I would like to give her is to not, to not stop being herself. Um, to not be afraid of being beautiful joy wherever she goes um, and to not let other people's opinion bother who she is as a person she's beautiful like other people have said inside and out um, i'm glad that i've met her and that i had someone to look up to call on cry cry to um, i'm glad she lived almost next door to me no i'm not crying now but i probably will at your graduation but I'm going to miss you dearly i'm glad that i met you and our friendship is not going to quit and stop here because you graduated like any uh, sibling uh, relationship, Beautiful Joy was, um, especially since she's younger, was uh, someone who I didn't always get along with growing up. Uh, learning how to share and uh, constantly being surrounded with her and her um, outgoing personality uh, could sometimes get on my nerves a little bit being an introvert such as I am. but. Um, over the years, she has just, like I've said, developed into just a wonderful, God-fearing young woman. Uh, someone who really understands a time and place for everything and no matter what will go out her way to continue to help and care for others, um, sometimes to her own detriment. And so uh, the greatest change I've seen in Beautiful Joy is just a mature factor in knowing who she is as a person. and what God has in store for her and how she has been placed on this earth to do good for others. Everything she does and everything she touches is something that is beautiful and golden. And so I would just tell her to continue to do what she's doing, uh, putting God first, obviously, and trusting in her instincts to uh, lead her down the correct path that God has intended for her. First and foremost, don't place any limits on yourself. Um, you are such a wonderful person, full of so much love and kindness um, and dreams and possibilities and hope. Don't lose that. Uh, this world is, especially today, is, is not a place that is truly accepting of those who would willingly sacrifice for others. And it can uh, jade and um, make you seem like you're not something that you really are. And I want you to constantly remember who you are, why you're here, and uh, what you want out of life. And go and chase those things. 
because you can accomplish all that you set your dreams on and even those things that you can't even dream of yet. I would really like her to know that like, even though this is like my first year here at college, like she's really like molded me in such a way to where I feel like I really can be successful on this campus. Um, when I came here, I wasn't really sure like what I wanted to do or who I even was in. I, I just, I didn't know like what direction I wanted to go in. I, all I knew is that I wanted to be successful and the words that she shared with me and the thoughts that she shared and her personal experiences that she shared with me helped me to um, keep going and it helped me to understand that no matter what I might go through on this campus or no matter who might do what to me, like I'm still gonna be great. I'm still gonna do my thing and just, you know, be good. So I just, I just want to thank her for being that positive role model for me. Honestly, I would just say to just stay true to yourself, true to who you are. Um, I feel like the world can be a very like hard place to live in and I feel like you could get away from the things that you've been raised by and you could you could get away from all the good things that you have about yourself. So I would just say just please try to like stay true to yourself, stay true to who you are and just keep spreading love cuz that's what you're really good at. And that's only because I came to Langston cuz I trusted what the Lord told me and he has taken me far exceedingly abundantly beyond anywhere I could have ever hoped or dreamed. Thank you. There are no thank yous that I could say enough. And sometimes I feel like me saying thank you isn't good enough, but that's all I have.